Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Lone War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our legendary Iron Man playthrough with Operation Steel Wheel, where the next uh, squad, I believe, these are the Ultramarines, if I'm not mistaken, where the Ultramarines are deploying to take on 21 enemies reduce enemies uh, strength in the process of doing that and just generally kick some um, advent rear. Let's go. Good, landed. And we do have pretty open zone, very limited high ground there, some high ground there maybe. Okay, well, hostile patrol in range. Immediately spotting the first hostile patrol. Let's try to get over here. I'm not sure. And this is a bit weird because the playground, only this part here is high cover, a uh, high ground. Uh, this here is not. Good, let's hope the car doesn't randomly explode, otherwise we have a problem. The drone makes this pack here more difficult to engage, mainly due to the huge um, size of, their, of its detection radius. Can we grapple? Because that would indicate that it is high ground. Yep. Okay, so that's high ground then. I move. Moving to overwatch. There's another bit of high ground. I was actually not a bad position. If we get the high ground benefit, that is. Good, let's Carefully move forward. Hostile forces spotted. Don't want to, oh wow, another pack. I don't want the cougar to be spotted out. very very far fabulous next turn we're going to trigger no we're not oh we're barely out fantastic don't want to fight them yet not both of the packs together Oh, 
All right, being able to grapple up here will be a huge advantage because of flanking and so on. That's a beefy pack in itself. It didn't need any of uh, the extra enemies. Difficult to find a really good spot to engage them. If they come a little bit closer, we can start to engage them. This will likely spot us out simply because one of these idiots will move into a flanking position. You can already foresee that. Closing on target position now. That's good in terms of shredding and just overall damage value. Wow, very nice hit. believe that we haven't been spotted out hilarious if you think about it all right locked on to him let's get him down pull ourselves up here but I can almost guarantee that that is going to be a problematic move all right getting this guy down cool that's two done Hit him. Barely not. Don't want to move further forward. Might need to take the Berserker and lose our concealment. Without pulling anything else, I do not see how we would do this. That's a miss. Unfortunate. A 
bit of a waste for Shredstorm con uh, gun. But the guy has a lot of defense. And 12% I'm not going to take that shot. high ground by the way executioner aim steady hands scope yeah it's not going to be much better than that and that should be a kill a hit and another small hit Berserker should be out of range but we're going to trigger more and there was yet another pack so nice little area suppression Okay, we need to deal damage, lots of damage. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Looks like a kill to me. Okay, that worked well. Implacable over here. Good, hopefully that explodes the car as well. It does not, but it does severely hamper their position. Berserker. Very unfortunate. Optimizing the damage profile here. Of 
for three additional damage. And we'll get back into action. Oh, that was a mistake, my dude. Did he holy warrior the zombie? Okay. A bit weird. Okay. Well. Let's do one thing at a time. I believe this here should give us a nice little line of sight. 50-50 on the priest. That's a nice uber kill. slightly back and the Psy zombie should just be dead. So Cougar unfortunately can no longer re-stealth. We lost a lot of loot, but what am I supposed to do? So, we got the mutant pack down and got the next pack down. That was four here, and I think another four. So it's eight. Moving carefully up. do the hacking a little bit later for now what we're going to do is reload and steady our weapon because that'll give us a huge aim bonus the next time and the dm goes to the front line as well we need fire support Yeah, I would like to get that to that high ground. This here looks fantastic as well, but we have to be careful. We no longer have concealment. Which in return means the moment that we are finding someone, they immediately either get a turn or uh, we'll scour out and we will need to fight them head on. We only killed eight at the moment, but there are definitely more enemies around. Loot, as cruel as the sound, is expendable at this point. Of course, it's great to have loot, but I 
rather get a good engagement and since we get the corpses out of uh, these engagements loot is really not that important okay we know that the mammoth pack is here very nicely by the way parked right next to an explosive i wish we could easily engage them and range destroy that but we just got ourselves another fight wow that's a massive pack I think we need to kill the archer first. Very strong sniper from uh, their end. Hunter drone is another top contender for one of the worst enemies on this field. We do have a problem with the Berserker. Utilizing hook. Let's do this into a sweet big fat explosion. biggest problem is we also need to deal with the berserker that thing has a lot of hit points it's an option yeah but we might trigger more which I don't want first the berserker needs to die the mech would be a fantastic target as well Let's put ourselves a bit more into a secure position. Berserker like takes damage. Yeah, that could kill him, but we would be left in the open. Can't do that. Get the Mac, come on. Possible uh, miscalculation. Let's get the Mac, come on. Too bad. Ammunition level and critical. Yeah, I don't want to trigger anything as can't charge in. As far as I'm concerned, we're positioning ourselves here and hunker down. All right, let's see what the enemy is going to do. We're going to take some damage from their end. we're doing fine it 
Let's get the enemy spark down. Or neck rather. Getting rid of the zombie. We could use another grenade, but that's not needed. What we could do is teamwork to keep our sniper shot after moving here we will not have the uh, bonus for for keeping our weapons steady but it is a decent chance to actually kill this guy okay cool Good, two more turns and we can grapple again, which is exactly what I would want to do. Reload Overwatch, just Overwatch, and we should be okay. Complete, uh, complete Shocker. To yet again see the enemies engage non stop. Good, sectored down. Moves up. Could get the priest. Good, we're moving out of uh, the main fire line. Hitting the priest nicely. This will put him into stasis. Psst, of course, minimum damage. Let's focus on the Vipers first. Really down to one HP. Could be a kill. Okay, so far that worked as 
expected or as planned, not as expected, you never expect an overwatch shot to hit, it is XCOM at the end of the day. Classic Overwatch removal. Green to go. Let's get the priest. <sighs> Didn't happen. Nice overkill, please. No life signs detected. Ammunition depleted. Positive confirmation. Area secured. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Oh, that was already twenty two. I somehow lost a uh, count with how many we were slaughtering. Yeah, the spark took quite a bit of damage, but they can be repaired, I think. Pour a drink. That was a successful mission. Ah, fabulous. Good. We definitely need adaptive aim. I learned that the hard way. And we got a winner here. When a winner chicken dinner, what do we get? So, gain two mobility with uh, every kill. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. This here would give us an option for superior uh, focus but then the enemies need to attack him first once per turn gain a bonus action after taking a standard shot with your primary weapon at an enemy within four tiles cannot trigger in the same turn as hit and run okay that makes it a bit weaker shooting sharp is good Locked on is fabulous. Justice is good. I like that as well. This is a free action. Requires one action. It was better when it was a free action. Cooldowns isn't bad either. I'm thinking there are a couple of nice and interesting ways of dealing with him. He clearly is a skirmisher and I want to continue playing him like that. The whole combo that we currently have going is great. Having another couple of starters that don't end the turn would be good as well. So Whiplash I appreciate is good. Specifically against robotic enemies I think he does not have that much against them yet. I like justice. Um, does that end the turn? I think it does not. I think it does not end the turn. It's just like it normally has been. And then we do have uh, Blade Storm, which is again arguably a very very strong skill that plus that would not be bad because 
we can leave him there and then Bladestorm will kill. Let's do that combo. I like it. Gives us something to do. Is a strong combo and makes an overall uh, strong character even a little bit stronger. Good, we're going to do this. And once uh, Zukuger has enough points, I think we're going to do light him up. That way he can shoot and then go into melee. Just increases damage overall. Super good. Super good. Okay, let's do this. Continuing to uh, to get everybody trained. And I think we can now build Alloy Armor, right? Yeah, I think, yeah. Yes. The answer is yes, I can. Yes, we can. Good, we are going to get the money, then we're purchasing, and then it's off to North America. Setting course for the Indonesian zone. Cool. Two days, 21 hours, start liberating this region. Hmm. Listen, listen, listen. If we can put the Grey Knights in there and just do a quick, very quick mission. Just boost it. Hmm. I like that idea. I actually like it a lot. Good, that would be extremely light enemies and all we need to do is boost it. We'll get almost all of the intel back and we start the liberation of uh, the region, which is important. You, uh, The way that I'm seeing it, and I make the mistake uh, with, uh, with um, India and Australia, if you haven't started the liberation early enough, then you will be in trouble because all of a sudden there are a couple of must-do missions with very high strength count of uh, the opposition. And no one forces you to do the HQ, you can just let it sit there. It, it's really not a big uh, problem whatsoever. So we want to purchase a couple of things and then build. Let me just do that real quick. This time we're not going to get rid of Illyrium cores. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure that out in a sec. Okay, so we spent quite a bit of money and got rid of some stuff, but I want to, I wanted to get new soldiers. So Astra Durand, besides being in a absolute inappropriate dress, comes in at the sergeant level, which is great. What else does she have? Fire shot that immobilizes the target. Well, that's not bad. That is not bad either. I think that's the winner here. Yeah, we're going to do reposition super strong because uh, then she can shoot and indeed reposition. And a couple of uh, things need to happen. I can't let you just 
sit there with this type of outfit. Even for my standards, that's not okay. I think it's, yeah, the, it is a female, right? Yeah, Astrid is a female. Wasn't clear uh, just from the way she was dressed. Okay, that looks a little bit more like it. And boy, <laughs> the hair. Let's make her look a little bit less. Like Pippi Langstrumpf. All right, depth perception seems exactly like the type of skill, but uh, type of PCS that we want on her. And we got an assault. Rosa. And again, I somehow do not dig the haircut. Let's do something that looks cool. All right. Much better. Fantastic. So she came to us and what are we going to do with her? Return fire. Fantastic. Firing your offhand no longer ends the turn. All right, that's Electroshock. We're going to take that once we have enough points. Close and personal. Yes, please. And we'll take some Fortify. That's also cool. Like, she could be a real Arc wielder. She can take that and that and can even heal max. That's not bad at all. Give her a little bit of speed and the character will work very well. Okay, cool. So we're deepening our roster because we need more soldiers as you will, can appreciate. Did I forget anything new? Oh, do we, oh yeah, I forgot something. We wanted to double check uh, the new items here. So we got Hasmus vests, but they are quite pricey. And we got alloy pl uh, plating, which does not cost anything other than a couple of alloys. And corpses, so... That sounds to me like a really good deal. And it also sounds like we're having more temporary hit points going forward. Okay, so next up, uh, we had, we did not have the next mission here. Oh, I see. That's... The next liberation mission we need to wait one day until that comes back uh, through the iterations i would say um, let's put her here Good. That'll give us a bit of a boost for Intel, which we need in this region. Okay, and the other question that I have is, am I willing to take one of you guys out? Let me just double check that. Seven days. I am actually willing to do that because what we can do in return is... Um, Cool, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. What I can do in return is put an engineer here. And that gives us another 60 income. That's pretty damn good. Mm. 
because that means we can purchase further engineers and scientists and uh, soldiers. Setting course for sector two, Australia. So deploying another team. Who's even available? Ultramarines are the only ones available. Um, Frontline cover removal. I think we might need another soldier on this mission. Jacobo strikes me exactly as the person who, whom we could use. All right, let me finish this real quick. All right, so ultramarines, hack the advent train, gain the intel tower and uh, get the intel package and we should be good to go. Fabulous. And I think if my memory serves me well, yes, that was finding a lead. No, it was not uh, the mission to liberate that further. That was uh, the mission to liberate that further. But we only have one day, so we really need to wait until that's uh, done. And then we'll come back afterwards. All right, so we wanted to start making contact here. Expand our network a little bit, go to North America and hopefully get the noble cause because that will make us less tired. And we need to launch right here. Oh yeah, that's our training crew. 21 enemies. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do that in the next episode, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate uh, if you would leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.